Can you tell us how you made the transition from dangerous factory job to uh, writer for TV shows? <laughs> yeah. mm. Well, uh, I, I, I never really thought that comedy was a, a job or a career or anything until I was in college and there was uh, the, the Harvard Humor Magazine, the Harvard Lampoon, which at the time the president was Conan O'Brien. So I, I thought, wow, this guy's very impressive. And then we would hear about all these people who'd gone on to work at Letterman or Saturday Night Live as generally writers occasionally, as Conan has proven, could be a performer as well. So I thought, okay, I'll do that. Sounds simple. That didn't work out that well. So for a while, that's why I was a a bartender fishing through uh, beer coolers for broken glass and straight quarters that had fallen down there and things like that. But it uh, took a couple years out of college before I got a, a writing job. Did you move to New York right out of college? No, I was in Boston and I worked briefly in Los Angeles and stayed on a friend's sofa for six weeks. But uh, New York uh, turned out to be the right place for, well, Letterman was 25 years, so I. Yeah. Rode that to the last stop on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us about what it was like when you found out that job was over? Well, I was okay with it the day that Dave announced that he was going to retire. My gut instinct was, okay, that's fine. That's actually fine. It <laughs> but we knew it had to happen, and we all didn't want it to be Dave is 78 and tottering, and we're all just pretending it's still a good show. So <laughs> let's get out and try to go out on a high note and see what else we can do, because I feel like, yeah, I've got other stuff I want to do with my life, and I don't want to wait until I'm... Uh, in my late 60s to have to figure out what, what comes next. So yeah, I was, okay, good, That's, this is the right time, this is the right way to do it, let's, let's get out in style and then do something else.